Hello everyone, uh, very warm welcome to all of you uh, to talent training. And, uh, so today we'll start uh, from connections to that screen. So connections are primarily you must have already seen few of those connections. Uh, I had shown them while demonstrating various components. So first and foremost is a row main connection and this you must be pretty much familiar because this component or this connection is used to transfer the data from the input component to the output component. And it does transfer the data in a record wise manner. So it will firstly transfer the first record, second record, third record, like that it does transfer. Uh, it does not transfer all the data at once and it just transfer in a record wise manner. And we can rename this connection as well. Uh, I just quickly demonstrate, okay. So what we were about to discuss is row main connection here. So row main connection uh, is just used to transfer the data. So let's just delete this connection and instead of uh, using the row count, I will use the file import day limited. Okay. And now applying trigger. The another cool feature in talent six is that you can have connection like that. I mean, it's not always straight line, but kind of curved lines. So it is just basic UI changes they have done that. So in case if I want to have some curved lines, so I can, I don't know, it's slowing down a bit. Okay, so we're gonna have some kind of curved connection. So row main connection, how do you get that? You just right click on the input component from where you want to get the data and then row and then select the main and then just drag and drop till here. Okay, so I'm using a component which does not actually transfer the data. So I rather just disable this job. row and main and then just link that. Okay, so you can have some curved lines here and if you want to name this connection, you can just click on the connection once and after a couple of seconds, just click again here. You will see that it becomes editable. So you can give some name to this connection. Uh, what should I give? Just give some name as employee underscore data. Okay. So specify your file path, uh, which you want to read. Uh, I want to read some file in D directory, talent, sources, which one you want. Uh, maybe with the file which is having less number of records. And then you can you need to specify your file header. This task you must have already done that, but I'm just reiterating to uh, let you know the concept of Romain. Just see the file which you want to read. Okay, 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 okay. Department, okay. So just having two records, department ID and department name. So I quickly create the schema. Department ID, which is of data type as integer and department name. This is of data type string. Okay, so we propagate these changes and error is one. Okay, we are we are good to go ahead. So as you can see, we are transferring our data. Is that record delimited by? It's still lifted by pipe only. So we are correctly able to see our data. It has read two records, that is 100 and So this is how we use a row main connection. 
the next one is row and iterate connections we have also seen this demo in the t file list uh, what we had seen is it used to iterate all of those files one by one i cannot demonstrate to you how much it gains the performance because for that i need to have huge chunks of data which i currently doesn't have so you can just assume the scenario wherein you just want to increase some uh, parallel partitioning or parallel pipelines uh, of your reading and loading the data so we'll see how we can do that so let's just deactivate this job okay activate crunch up job so for uh, using the iterative uh, a connection you need to have an iterative component you cannot use an iterative connection on a component which is uh, which is not iterative okay so this is for first and foremost uh, prerequisite for using uh, iterative connection uh, the first and foremost prerequisite is that you need to have a component that supports iteration okay so t file list is one as one such component which supports iteration. So how you can use that? This is, I've already told you the scenario, but uh, just a quick recap. So this is a T file list, it supports iteration. And if you want to read it one by one, all of those files, you just specify the file mask and then you use uh, T file input dealing with component. And in fact, let's just activate this job. And you create an iterative connection by right click on that uh, iterative component and select the row. And this time, if you see, you don't get row main because this component does not uh, use to transfer the uh, data in a record-wise manner. This component is primarily used to transfer the data in, in, uh, in an iterative fashion. So you see the difference between uh, this one is in red color and this one is in green color. So this just tells you that this is an iterative and this one is uh, main component. So once, it's, once it is iterative, so since the file names keeps on changing, uh, as of now, if you specify like that, this is static file name. But if you want to specify it, it as in a dynamic fashion, you need to remove all of this stuff and you need to use the global variables. Okay, so rest of the stuff remains the same. And yeah, you need to make sure that all of those files have the same schema which currently does not have. So I go to the loop, loop two, employee details. Oh my God, there's plenty of data. Let me open it with editor. Okay, so it's having ID, F name, last name. Okay, so I quickly create. ID. last name what was that id first name and last name okay okay so i just moved that up oops i just moved that up and okay okay so let's just load our data Okay, it has not fetched the data. There was two files, which, as you can see, there was two files. That is, it is showing two executions finished. Means it find two files here, and somehow it is not loading the data. Might be. Let me check the reason why. I think there is uh, delimiter. I have not specified it correctly. So delimiter is not comma. Okay, so we have our data that is it is correctly fetched 10 records. Uh, of course, one file was empty, that's why there was no records fetched. So for the first file, it is just empty because there was no record. And for second one, we could see that uh, there is some data. You can prevent first file from loading the data using file row count as I've already told you. You can use those variables and use the run if condition. So if you see, if you click on the iterate 
uh, connection and you click on component you will see something called enable parallel execution so what this future it's very cool future of talent or what does it do is that it enhances your performance considerably so you just click on this box and then after you just specify the number of parallel execution which you want so let's say if you want if you want to increase your parallel pipelines to your data loading so what you can do is you can increase this uh, figure like you can have that uh, maybe five or maybe even ten provided your database supports uh, that much number of connections or yeah that much number of connections so these things you need to make sure while you are doing uh, parallel execution and that it enhances your performance considerably and these things you have to check with your database admin that how much parallel connections uh, does your database allow uh, while loading your data okay so do have this future just always keep a watch on that it can definitely come handy in some scenarios where uh, your database is very good and your DBA is also very fine with uh, increasing the number of connections okay so triggers yeah so as I've told triggers are not used to transfer the data but triggers are normally used to maintain the hierarchy of your job execution now what does I mean by hierarchy so by hierarchy I mean like your first job let's say you have a two sub jobs and you want your, your second sub job should, should run only when your first job is successful so in that particular scenario you use triggers and uh, the first and foremost trigger and the most easiest of all is uh, on sub job ok connection so what does this do is that control is transferred to the next job only if all the connect all the components in a job executed successfully so as you can see in the screenshot uh, we have three components uh, and we are doing the same iterative reading all of those files so what I want is that if after my connection is successful after all of the files has been read successfully it should uh, print me some message that job execution has been done successfully okay so let's just see that scenario how we can do that in talent 6.1 so I'm going to create a new job um, what should I name using the file list okay so in fact I could use this itself here yeah. okay so I want to name this thing I want to print the message once my all the job execution has been successful so what I will do is I will have the Java component print this message trigger so how do you get the trigger for on sub job ok trigger you know you should click on the first component in your job in your sub job in our case it is the file list we just right click trigger on sub job ok and then drag and drop to the T Java and here we just print the message sys out It's very weird it was working a while ago anyways I just write full system dot out dot print ln and I want to write job executed successfully congratulations okay Okay, so let's just run our job. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there were two execution fish and 
first execution did not have any records so as you can see execution one is zero records execution two we face 10 records and once our job got executed successfully we see something a message at the end job executed successfully okay so this is how we use on sub job ok trigger and this will be printed or the message will be printed only if all the executions all the components in your job gets executed successfully okay so we move ahead what next we have so the counterpart is on sub job error so this is kind of similar to on sub job okay the only difference lies in the fact that you want to print some error message you want to send some mail to the stakeholders that oh man your job got executed or your job got failed you should do some actions so in that particular scenario you want to have on sub job error trigger so how you can have that is just uh quite similar just right click on the input component select the trigger on sub job error and just drag and drop to the t java component and instead of congratulations you should not print congratulations when your job got failed so what you're gonna do is just command that portion and I don't know why this out is not working. I copy this thing from the top. Okay, so this time I want to write. Uh, okay, so for getting on sub job error i have to intentionally create some error otherwise i won't be able to show you demo so what you need to do is just make some any just change the directory which does not exist so i make it instead of loop 2 i make it loop 21 okay and let this component generate an error Okay, did not print it anything, it should generate an error. Okay, I can do that. okay it did generate an error and as you can see at the end you see one message that we wanted to print uh, and we printed that using on sub job error trigger so it just displayed the message oh man your job got failed so you can have similar fashion you can in fact instead of using d java to send an email you can use the send mail component and it will just send an email if your job got failed okay okay so what do we have next is on component okay so the difference between on component okay and on sub job okay lies in the fact that on sub job okay will print message uh, will initiate the trigger only if all the components get successfully even if one of the component got failed it will not print the message or it will not initiate the trigger now whereas the on component okay connection is concerned it just prints a message it just initiate the trigger uh, like as early as possible like uh, like whenever a particular component uh, gets uh, executed successfully okay so it does not concern about other components in the job in fact in a sub job even if the one component gets executed so even that particular component on which you have enabled the trigger gets executed successfully it will just initiate the trigger so let's just quickly see a demo of uh, on component okay so 
Oh, what do we want? What do we, how we can do that is okay. Okay, I got that. Now I need to uh, show you a demo of on component. Okay, okay, so So I just store it somewhere. I need to change the workspace location because I need to keep on switching the drives, which I does not like. So I go to the directory. Okay, uh, where do I need to store this file? Just store here. Okay, include error, append. Okay. Now I want that as early as possible if this job, this file has been loaded successfully, it should print me message that the file has been loaded. So I use again the Java and so how do we get own component okay so own component okay you can get from any component uh, unlike uh, on sub job okay wherein you need to get uh, the trigger from the first component in your sub job on component okay you can get from any component in your sub job so just print the message this is how oh this time it came it's out uh, okay so we're good to go So as you can see, we got two times file has been loaded successfully because that component was loaded two times. Why two times? Because we found uh, two files. And since we are using iterative component, so, uh, and since we're using iterative component, so the complete sub job on the right side of the iterative component gets executed n number of times uh, as we found the number of files. So we found two files, so that's why we got two times the message. So on component error is quite similar. I'm not going to explain that. Uh, it's just quite similar. It's just like when if there is an error. So as you can see on the screenshot, uh, if there is an error on particular connection component, like say Oracle connection, then you will get that error. And if you want to uh, put some actions, uh, you know, want you want to do some stuff. So you will just say that uh, you will use on component error connection or trigger. Uh, 